Good morning, guys. Good morning, Emily. We are out house hunting in this idyllic little street. Look at these houses. Um, we're obviously not house hunting because we can't afford that. <laughs> but we're apartment hunting. Um, I'd love to live somewhere like this. So we're in South Yarra at the moment. Ready to go in? Let's go. She's got our book. We now methodically write every place we go to, the pros and the cons, the things we like, things we don't like, so that we can be in the best position to make our choices. Oh, my phone's still in the car. <laughs> don't want to leave my phone in the car. An opportunistic thief could steal it. Anyway. There you go. How long did it take us? I love that it gives you a little summary on Google Maps. It took us 20 minutes. Average speed, 25 k's an hour. That's not too bad. Anyway, there we go. I think the real estate agent just got here. It's a definite no to the first one that we saw. We didn't even ask for the contract of sale or anything like that. It's lovely. Like you've got, you've got this sort of on the walls and all that sort of stuff. But we just looked at the car parking space. It's not undercover or anything like that, which a lot of them aren't, and we're, we're cool with that. But the person next to us, next to our car parking space, had parked terribly, and neither mine car or Emily's small car would have fit in that space that they left. How many are there? 11? Could be more than that. Ah, oh, 17. Yeah, 23 apartments, so it's relatively high density. Not fans of that. Um, and yeah, it's just not what we're looking for, really. The lounge room is really small. And no balcony either. There's no balcony in the lounge room. It was really small to the point where you can't have a dining room table, which when you're buying it to live in, which we are, you want to have that those areas where you can relax and chill and have friends over for dinner and all that sort of stuff. So that one simply was not right. All right, so the apartment we just looked at is my favourite that we've seen in like forever. How, did you love it? It was gorgeous. But uh, she's not as much of a fan, but she still loves it. She'd be happy if we bought it. Slightly out of our price range though, which is the only problem. It's a massive problem. Sorry about the wind. It's going to auction in two weeks. Um, so we probably won't get that one, but the cool thing about it is it's a 1930s Art Deco building that they've gutted and then made new apartments in. And normally I'm not a fan of new apartments, but this is really low density. There are only six which is crazy small compared to a lot of the apartment complexes. Um, it's in Paran. It's got two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's on the ground floor, so no stairs. Um, it's got one car parking space that is a stacker, which is really bizarre. But also, there's off-street parking near it. The only thing you have to do is move your car on bin day, um, which isn't too big of an ask. But yeah, I loved it, but they're asking I think 600 to 660 so it's like I, I love everything about it it's so cool it had like I love the dining room as well like yeah like it was big enough to actually room. have people over yeah the fridge goes behind a cupboard which would probably get old because you end up having to open two doors to open the fridge but I don't know it just felt really premium and really really like luxurious so I liked it we probably won't get it but I think I've been saying um, I'm sort of ready to stop looking in St Kilda East and I think Paran or South Yarra is where I want to be. It's where my heart wants to be. Either that or if we happen to find a crazy apartment in the city that has a car parking space. We've seen one recently on DeGrave Street, which is like the cafe capital of Melbourne. Um, but that doesn't have a car parking space, so it's not quite right. But yeah, I am um, super keen. It's renewed my passion for looking for houses. I definitely want to steer clear from now on of the higher density places. Anything with over like maybe 12 apartments I think is too much. You don't agree? No, I think there are some that work. I yeah, it's, it depends on the feel, but I'm not looking at 30 plus anymore and mm. stuff like that. Um, anyway, I've got to head home because I've got to go to work and I want to have lunch and stuff at home before I go to work. I'm super fucking hyped. I'm in a great mood. I saw a woman riding a motorbike. And how cool was her fucking motorbike? It was very cool. I actually saw two women riding motorbikes. I saw one riding a really cool Ducati. And then this woman was riding like a white motorbike. And she had like cool red hair. And like she had the motorbike helmet that I want. I just can't wait. That's, that's the life I want. I'm so excited about life right now. And it's good because I've been in a funk for like the last week and a half. I'm determined to perpetuate this. Okay, so I'm sitting here. Going to work soon. You sad? Yeah. Angus is sad. No, he's not really. He's just been a dog. 
Emily needs to study because she didn't study last night. It's already 1.30. She's going to have to take the dogs on another walk before the end of the day. So, how many hours do you want to study tonight? Lots? Lots. As much as you can. Um, you'll be bored without me. I like how I just state that you'll be bored without me and you don't. I'm sure you'll be bored without me. <laughs> um, I'm about to head to work. I was having a little rant to Emily before about how I'm really not enjoying the jo my job again. And I've said that in the vlogs over the past couple of days. But I was telling Emily how I don't think that I want to do it in the long term. Um, I think that I want to work for myself. And I'm going to find a way to do that. And also there's another job that I think I might be interested in. But that doesn't mean that I can get complacent and not try to enjoy my job as it is right now. And I think that's what I'm going to try and do. Um, but I remember as well, like it's all only temporary and life's really short. So enjoy what I can while I can while I'm at work and um, not stress too much about anything because life's short and none of this really truly matters. But life is good anyway. Um, that's all I'll say for now. I'll probably film when I get it. Actually, no, what? No, I won't because all I'm going to be doing is getting home and going to sleep. So, in that case, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.